And even though Caravana and et cetera mm. are serving a niche, no doubt, when there's no need to walk in, I think that there's certain things that can only happen inside of a dealership. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I know that in my 27 years in stores, I've seen, I, I mean, I can't even say the number. I want to say the majority, but, uh, and maybe it's not the majority, but a high number of the people that show up, even though they've done all of this internet shopping journey and research, 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 oh, you can tell me how it goes in Montreal, end up leaving in a vehicle that wasn't even remotely what they were researching once they walked in and saw something or the salesperson. Now, I want to be cautious on this control conversation because everybody likes to be in control and they want to run their own show. But let me give you a little scenario. Everybody likes to be in control. And I used to tell my salespeople that they need to show the customer something that they weren't thinking about. For example, Dr. Jones's trade-in with 5,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers on it, three years old, that no one would ever know is for sale. It just came in, it's in the back, et cetera. And the customer that wasn't shopping for that is thrilled and grateful to find out about that vehicle to save them thousands. And it's like new and new car smell and it's equipped, you know, et cetera. Okay. But I've seen the convertible shopper leave in a pickup truck and all that stuff in the middle because they learned something about that unit that they weren't thinking about. But let's talk about the control thing. Mm. You, the retail customer, like shopping from home. You want to be in control. You want to pick out your own car. You want to do your own shopping. You want to do it the Carvana way. You want to put in all your information. And I'm not knocking Carvana because there's a niche for that, but it's not for everybody. You want to already know what payment and loan and lease and okay and all that business. But imagine this. You walk into a restaurant, an expensive restaurant, like let's call it $80 a person without drinks. So an you know, expensive-ish restaurant. So the more expensive it is, the more you should have it the way you want it, right? I'm going to say right question mark. The reason is when you're ordering and you're having your experience in the restaurant and you go to order the fish and the waiter goes, mm. Now you appreciate that you have an experienced person who can be a little confrontive with you, who can be a little informative and experienced with you and not have you order the fish tonight. Mm -hmm. And now you're, you're giving control to that person. So in a car dealership, the benefit of the BDC selling an appointment is I call it the miracle can't occur unless you show up less than half the people, but I was on the selling side, less than half the people mm -hmm. actually left in what their internet lead, I'm looking for one of these, I'm interested in one of these, do you have one of these? And my BDC is able to sell them on an appointment and they show up. Not that I didn't have it. It's not that we had to like a bait and switch. It was just that when they showed up in real life, see something, what's that? Or they give their needs to their salesperson and the salesperson says, have you thought of one of these based on what you described to me? It might fit the dog. It might help with the soccer. It might help with the off-road thing. It might help with the fuel economy thing. It might help with the payment problem, you know, whatever it is. And they were able to get their help there. So when I'm saying BDC selling an appointment is selling an appointment at, to the benefit of everybody, I mean it. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars.